Let's talk about why the cosine of theta is equal to x and the sine of theta is equal to y. Here's a circle, and I'm going to situate it in an xy coordinate plane. Let's pick a point on that circle, draw a radius from the origin to that point on the circle, and drop a perpendicular. That perpendicular is at right angles with the x-axis. I'm going to call this angle here theta. If I label the sides of this triangle x, y, and r, then we can see that the sine of theta is just y over r. The cosine of theta is x over r. Why label the sides x and y in the first place? Well, the coordinates of this point here, x, comma, y, are achieved by starting at the origin, going out x units, and then going up y units. So the length of the side I've labeled x just corresponds to the distance traveled from the origin in order to get to the horizontal position of that point. r, of course, is just the radius of the circle. Now, if I multiply both sides of this equation by r, and I multiply both sides of this equation by r, I get the following. x equals r cosine theta, and y equals r sine theta. There are a lot of applications in which you'll use the x and y coordinates as r cosine theta and r sine theta, respectively. But there are also times when you see just x equals cosine theta and y equals sine theta. So what's the difference? What we have on the screen right now is the general case, and r could be any value. But what if r is 1? In other words, what if this is a unit circle? If that's the case, then r here becomes 1, and here, and here. Everywhere I have an r, I'm saying that that has the value of 1 for this special case. And when that happens, x equals cosine theta, and y equals sine theta. So x equals cosine theta, y equals sine theta, is simply a special case of x equals r cosine theta and y equals r sine theta. When you see cosine theta comma sine theta used for coordinates, it's because those coordinates are coming from the unit circle, the circle with radius 1. You'll also see x equals r cosine theta, and y equals r sine theta, used as coordinates. And sometimes we know what r is, and sometimes we don't, in the same way that we sometimes know what theta is, and sometimes we don't. But in the case that there's a number in front of cosine, it should be the same as the one in front of sine. And when you do see that, you know that's the radius of the circle on which that point is located. If you don't see a number in front, then you know the radius is 1.